Welcome back to the channel, Fight Fans. Today we're diving into the world of MMA and counting down the top 5 scandals that have rocked the sport to its core. From murdering, doping scandals and everything in between, these moments have left a lasting impact on the industry. So sit back, grab a drink and get ready to uncover the sordid past of MMA. Let's begin. People are generally fascinated by scandals, as long as they're not personally involved. Scandals, whether they involve political corruption or rigged sporting events, always draw significant attention. Although mixed martial arts is still not as popular as boxing, the sport has unfortunately been associated with negative headlines on several occasions due to the actions of influential individuals. Vitor Belfort, War Machine, turns to domestic violence. MMA has a history of dealing with cheaters and the use of PEDs can lead to serious health problems and ultimately ruin a fighter's career. Before we continue, if you're enjoying this content and want to see more videos like this, drop a comment and subscribe to our channel to never miss out on any of our upcoming videos. Take for instance Vitor Belfort, also known as the Phenom, is a Brazilian mixed martial artist and former UFC champion. He began his professional MMA career at the young age of 19 and quickly made a name for himself in the sport. In 2004, at the age of 25, Balfour became the youngest fighter to ever win a UFC championship when he defeated Randy Couture for the light heavyweight title. However, this record was later broken by John Jones in 2011. Despite his young age, Balfour's performance in the octagon was exceptional, as he quickly established himself as one of the top fighters in the sport. However, in 2006, Balfour was flagged for a positive drug test which revealed that he'd used a prohibited substance. He claimed that the positive result was from taking over-the-counter supplements, however, that did not excuse him from receiving a 9-month suspension and a $10,000 fine. The incident caused a setback in his career and resulted in a tarnishing of his reputation. Balfour continued fighting after his suspension and he had notable achievements in his career. But the incident in 2006 is remembered as a significant event in his career and it had some impact on his legacy. Lee Murray, Bank Heist Murray, a middleweight MMA fighter who had a strong record of 8-2, despite his success in the ring, became embroiled in a major scandal due to his lack of discipline and focus on crime thrillers rather than training. In 2006, he was convicted of planning and participating in the largest non-war related cash robbery in history. He led a group of men who robbed a Securitas cash depot in Tonbridge, England, stealing $92 million. The group also reportedly held 14 employees hostage and threatened to kill them. After some of his accomplices were caught, Murray fled to Morocco but was later apprehended. He attempted to escape prison in 2009 by using small saws hidden in a plate of biscuits, but was unsuccessful. Despite his criminal activities, he was sentenced to serve 10 to 25 years in prison. War Machine turns to domestic violence. War Machine, despite not being a highly skilled mixed martial artist, had personal struggles that were not apparent when he first appeared on the reality series The Ultimate Fighter Season 6. After being released from the Ultimate Fighting Championship following a deal, he had multiple legal issues. In 2014, War Machine, formerly known as John Coppenhaver, is reported to have discovered that his girlfriend, a pornographic actress named Christy Mack, had been unfaithful. He is alleged to have located her at her residence with another individual and subsequently assaulted both of them. This attack resulted in Mack's hospitalization and photographs of her injury were widely circulated by news outlets and on social media. The injuries sustained by Mac included broken bones around her eyes, a broken nose in two places, chipped and lost teeth, a fractured rib, a ruptured liver and various other injuries. War Machine was subsequently apprehended and imprisoned. The Rafael Torre murder and John Son rape conviction Torre had a brief career in professional MMA, with only one fight under his belt. He emerged victorious by submitting his opponent with a knee bar in the King of the Cage promotion. Unfortunately, his fighting career came to a sudden end when he was convicted of murder in 2001. He had killed Brian Richards, who was the husband of his former lover. 
A jury of 12 individuals found Torre guilty of murdering by strangling his victim with his bare hands. The victim's body was discovered in the back of a pickup truck hidden under trash bags and wheeled dollies. During the trial, Torre argued that his girlfriend, Angelina Richards, was the one who actually committed the murder and that he only assisted in covering it up in the hopes of collecting the victim's $1 million life insurance policy. However, the jury did not believe his defense and found him guilty. As a result, Torre was sentenced to spend the rest of his life in prison without the possibility of parole. A former UFC fighter, Gerald Strabant, was a significant witness at the trial and testified that Torre had offered him $10,000 to murder the victim. Moving over to the rape case of Joe Sun. Joe Sun was found guilty in 2008 for committing crimes connected to a gang rape that occurred on Christmas Eve 1990. The evidence linking him to the crime came from a DNA sample he had provided while in police custody for a separate probation violation. He was charged with multiple counts of rape, sodomy and oral copulation by force, as well as one count of sexual penetration with a foreign object by force. His bail was set at a million dollars and he faced a potential sentence of 275 years to life in prison. The original charges against Sun were dismissed due to the statute of limitations, but he was then charged with conspiracy to commit torture and murder, which have no such time restrictions. He was convicted of one count of torture related to the incident. While serving a life sentence, he made headlines again in 2011 for allegedly killing a fellow inmate. He's well known in the MMA community for being punched in the groin by Keith Hackney during a fight and will stand trial for murder in 2016. Nick Diaz, positive for marijuana. The picture that was released by TMZ spoke volumes about the situation. American MMA fighter Nick Diaz received a five-year ban and a $150,000 fine from the Nevada Athletic Commission for testing positive to marijuana. This punishment is severe in comparison to the lenient consequences given to other fighters who've been caught using performance-enhancing drugs. The author of the text seems to be questioning the fairness of the punishment given and suggesting that if a fighter is able to win under the influence of marijuana, they should be rewarded instead of punished. And there you have it, the top 5 scandals in MMA history. From performance enhancing drug use to fighter mistreatment, these controversies have shaken the world of mixed martial arts to its core. It's important to remember that while these scandals may have marred the sport's reputation, they also serve as a reminder of the importance of maintaining integrity and fairness in competition. Let's hope that the future of MMA is one of transparency and fair play.